this is what I'm going to be in one of those videos that's going to go, oh my god, this is so simple. Why didn't my teachers teach me how to think this? Remember all those useless math classes you took that you have totally forgotten back in high school and college? You know, yeah, all the useless crap that has no real world applications for 99.9% .9 of me. Let's talk about math. Let's talk about fields. You know, no branch of science has ever defined a field. The four Maxwellian field equations do not define a field. Every time I've debated these assholes in physics, I've actually debated a lot of professors. These people think, oh, this guy's a fat, bald idiot. He's covered in tattoos. He can't know more than me. I'm a professor of physics. Yeah. I've debated them over on overunity and uh, on, um, oh God, what's the other thing? Uh, the Energetic Forum and overunity. There's some of these uh, pseudo-intellectual knuckle-dragging mental midget morons who are actually real professors of physics, including uh, some guys that are uh, you know, heavily into uh, quantum mechanics. <laughs> Idiots. And they'll debate me and... Uh, I will remind them that no branch of physics, let's get to math here really quickly, no branch of physics ever defined a field, and of course they'll always mention the four Maxwellian field equations, and then I will point to them that Maxwellian field equations never define a field. They only define a field as expressed in effect over a given vector over a period of time. It's kind of like if you have Bob, you know? Where's Bob? Here we go, I'm going to use a, a, a gyroscope for Bob. You know, Bob by himself, not moving, you know, we have to explain what Bob is. You think we could do that? Well, Bob's six foot tall, he's a male, you know, his hot dog's six inches long. <laughs> Poor Bob. <laughs> so we're describing Bob as he is in himself, right? Here's the thing, and to give you an analogy, of course, I start to spin up the gyroscope. The four Maxwellian field equations, if Bob were a field, only define Bob with a given vector over a period of time expressed in effect. In other words, this is math, by the way. And by the way, math never defines a subject, nor does it ever define a field. If you realize fundamentally that all math is expressing something in effect, over a period of time with given vectors, depends on also what you're defining. But you're defining it not in and of itself, like let's define this. No, math never defines this. Math, here, listen closely. Math defines this, not this. Okay, math can't define this. Math can only define this. Okay, start, stop. Vector, period of time, effect. Math has no connection to reality. Math is only means of extrapolating out effects, vectors, time. This is for Maxwellian field equation. Math has never ever defined a field. A field has, in and of itself, no quantity. Let's say this is a field. Okay. A field of what? Magnetic, electrical, dielectric? Gravity doesn't exist. Gravity and magnetism are one and the same thing. Incoherent dielectric acceleration or coherent dielectric acceleration, what you conventionally call magnetic attraction and gravity are one and the same thing. Increasing inertia and acceleration. But that's a matter for another video. The field in and of itself has never ever been defined by any branch of science, nor is there any equation. Listen closely. This is irrefutable. I dare you to refute me. You're never going to refute me because the math does not exist. It cannot exist. Because a field has no quantity. It also has no locus. What do you mean a locus? Like a point? Like a Cartesian coordinate? Fields, if you even go to Wikipedia, I don't go, I don't give it. I got every book ever written on fields. Every one. Surely you jest. Oh no, listen up, girlfriend. Every book ever written on fields, all the way back to the ancient Greeks. Oh, by the way, the ancient Greek word for field is kora. Yes, I translate ancient Greek too, by the way. Girlfriend. There is no book that has ever defined, nor branch of science has ever defined the word field. Never. Ever, ever. I dare you to go find it. I dare you. Go find it. Does not exist. Math does not define this. Math defines this. Four Maxwell and field equations don't define a field. Fields have no quantity. Vectors only define change over a period of time measured in X effect. Whatever that f effect is, it is a plug-in for the math. Anytime you have a, uh, a division, 
an addition, a subtraction, or an expression. You see, all math is expressions. Okay, I don't care if you divide, you add, you subtract. Square rooted, I don't give a shit what you do. Math is an expression of change over time. Math never defines anything. Math has no connection to either actual science or reality. A thing in and of itself, like Bob. Imagine if, so, let's just replace the word field with Bob, right? Math can only define Bob in as far as the effect he has over the distance he travels over a period of time and the effect he has on other things. But math has never defined Bob himself. Bob is six foot tall, he has green eyes, brown hair, his hot dog is six inches long. <laughs> He's a, a white male with red hair. He's got freckles. Math has never defined Bob. Like, here's Bob. He's not doing anything, there's just Bob. I remind you, a field has no quantity. So if this were Bob, and we replaced Bob with the word field, now we're looking at this. It's like, here's the field. It's like, where's the field? It's right here. Where's the... Fr Where is it? It's right here. Can't you see it? No. A field has no quantity. It has no existential empirical footprint in the reality of what we conventionally understand as far as corporeal existential matter and phenomena. Atoms, whether those be conglomerated atoms that make up things and phenomena. A field has no quantity. All expressions of fields are expressions of change over a vector given a period of time. I don't care whether you believe me or not, but here's a hardcore, goddamn, irrefutable fact. Math, nor science, nor any branch of science has ever defined a field. Ever. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you to find any definition of a field. Much less a mathematical formula that ever defines a field. I dare you. It doesn't exist. Only thing that you will find are fields given expressions over a period of time with a certain vector with X effect or Y effect or effects for Maxwellian field equations don't define a field math can't define a field because math is bean counting and here's the beans okay let's say the beans are fields well where the hell are they how are you gonna count them to count something it must have some sort of existential autonomous Cartesian um, uh, a cora. It must have a region. It must be countable. How are you going to count a field? In and of itself. Well, we can... Gauss meter can measure a magnetic field. No. That's a measure of flux over a period of time. No. The Gauss meter, you know what a Gauss meter is? Well, sure. You measured magnetic flux, right? Over what? Over a vector, over a period of time, at a specific locus. Right. So once again, we have a machine that operates off of math to tell you the effect of a field over a vector over a period of time. That does not tell you what the hell the field is, nor does it define the field. I love it when I actually debate these mental midgets, these pseudo-intellectual knuckle-dragging morons, these lowland gorilla subhuman monobrow apes that oh, I'm a professor of physics at Caltech. I actually debated one of those before <laughs> on the energetic forum. <laughs> I destroyed them. I know all the potholes. You know, it's okay not to know the answers. If someone says, I don't know, it's like, well, that's a good answer. You know? These people would be more humble and have would have uh, far uh, better standing Far, far, far better standing to me if they say, I do, we don't know the answer to that. I don't know. It's like, good answer. <laughs> but when these assholes pretend that they know the answer to stuff that they absolutely don't know the answer to, then that is where I destroy them. Destroy them. It's so easy to destroy them, too. They are literally the proverbial walking piece of Swiss cheese. They're so full of holes. It's okay not to know. It's like, I don't know. It's okay. That's fine. Don't know. So it's good. You know, we're still searching for answers. It's okay not to know. But don't you teach other people or pretend to know the answer to stuff that you don't know the answer to. So I was sure we know what a field is. No, you don't. A field has never been defined by any branch of science ever. 
nor does math define a field because math is an expression and that expression contains within it temporal variables vectors and effects so we're only defining this we're never defining this and it gets worse when we're talking about fields because fields can't be this because this is you know this is Bob or the gyroscope if we're talking about fields we're talking about this it's like what where's the fields right here where's the fields right here where's the field it's right here can't you see it no I can't see it why can't you see it because a field is not anything that doesn't mean it is nothing, it means it is no thing. It's not phenomenal. It has no existential reality or footprint. It has no Cartesian coordinate. It has no quantity. Well, fields have qualities, you know. Yeah, over a period of time, given a vector with a rate of change, as expressed by math. Math is an expression. Math does not define anything. You need to realize the limitations of math. You see, the interesting shit is, is that everything is fields and fields are not particles. And since fields have no quantity, then math can never define a field. It's impossible. Let me repeat that to you twice again. Math can never define a field. Let's repeat it one more time so you can make it clear to yourself. It's not my opinion, it's a hardcore fact. Math, bean counting, cannot define a field. It is impossible! 100% goddamn impossible. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you can drop me a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Whatever makes you happy! Kapish? Ты понимаешь, as the Russians would say. Ты говоришь так точно, товарищ Кин. Math. Here's an ancient saying. It's called math uh, seeks to define everything but knows the uh, definition of nothing. I think it's the best translation. Math seeks to define everything, seeks to express everything, but knows the definition of nothing. It's also the same sort of expression that goes, is that someone can know the cost of everything, but the value of nothing. It's like he, every, this person knows the cost of what everything is, but he doesn't know the value of anything. You know, all the really important stuff in life has no cost. Wisdom, love, compassion comprehension those don't cost anything they can't be bought they can't be sold but they're the most important things in the universe yeah, isn't it kind of funny how that works it's kind of like all the important things to human beings are also like the most important shit in the universe is fields but fields have no quantity they can't be measured it's like ah oh, most important things in the universe can't be bought or sold they have no uh, they can't be traded they can't be passed on, they can't be copied. Wisdom, comprehension, knowledge, love, compassion, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the really important shit can't be bought, can't be sold, has no price, has no value, can't be stolen. You see how that works? Whew. Lux Everitas.